Well, thank you very much, Zoe. En ons keer nog vir oogend baie lekker saam met Dionai Bali, wat die rol van Genevieve Dinsdag op 7e land vertolk. En jy kan natuurlijk om 6.30 inskakel op SABC2 om haar daar te kan sien. And I wanted to ask, you know, we spoke earlier on about the importance of the role that you're playing as the, as the character, but just going back to your personal story, what, what were some of the biggest challenges that you've had to face? Cool, before I answer that, I just want to correct you, Kutlejo, it's six. It's At not six o'clock, so new time slot. Anymore. All yeah. right, thank you very much, thank you very much for that. Um, I think the biggest challenge for me was to accept myself. Mm. I think you are so, um, I think as a person, any person, you think so much about what other people think about you. And as soon as you get to that point where you accept yourself and don't care about what other people think, that is when you get in a peace at the end of the day. So that was a challenge for me, yeah. to, to, to come to a point where I actually accept myself and accept that I'm different. I was born different, my journey's different, um, and that, that was my greatest challenge yeah. for me. And was your friends and family dalk om you what you understand in the process? Yeah, they're still very supportive. I think um, they now see that I'm much more happy um, than before. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, previously when I wasn't myself or living a lie, as I call it usually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they can see I'm more myself and that I love myself and that I'm happy. And now the support keeps coming in. Absolutely. And I'm, you know, I, I want to just take it back a step once again, because I mm. feel like there might be a lot of people out there who might be sitting in the same position as you are, uh, as you were, that might be asking themselves mm. the same questions that you asked yourself. What were those questions and how did you come mm. to the conclusion of, you know, of, the, of the answers that you mm. did that at the end of the day made you feel that it's more important mm. for you to realize that you are what matters. Mm. So what were those questions that you were asking yourself in the beginning when yeah. it was difficult? I think first of all, you, you think about a lot about how your family will react. You think a lot about how people around you will react. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, you need to accept that um, no matter what people's reactions is, what is going to be the best for you? Yeah. Are you going to live this life um, for people or are you going to live this life for yourself? Yeah. I would. And now you're living this life for yourself and yeah. the rewards that come with it are absolutely beautiful. Um, your message out there to, to the people that are, are watching you and I guess taking on inspiration from your life story, no matter whether they are part of the transgender community or not, what would you say to them? Your fans, because you're not allowed to speak <laughs> to your fans. To my fans? <laughs> Do I have fans, I have, Hi, have fans. Thousands. <laughs> you may wave to them in that camera, yes. Speak Do to I them. Do I actually have fans? I think you have thousands of fans, <laughs> people that love you. Okay, but, but I would really like to say to people, stay true to yourself. Yeah. Stay true to yourself um, and be you. Go out there and be you because that is what matters at the end of the day. Yeah, there's no one who is youer than you. Exactly. So now that this new life has broken in front of you, uh, how much are you looking at teaching as your future versus acting as your future? Putting me in a difficult position, eh? I still need to go and teach no, the, tomorrow. The, the kids have gone to school, it's okay. <laughs> you can be honest right They're now. They're gonna look at the clips afterwards. So <laughs> so I I have to be quite, quite, um, uh, I don't know. PC about it, but yeah, okay, but, no, yeah. but honestly, your personal but ambitions But I think the, the drama bug did really, it, it bit me the acting bug. Yeah. I would really, really like to look at it long term, yeah. but obviously I also, teaching is my passion. Yeah. Teaching is my passion, I love it. I love it to bits. I love making a difference. Yeah. So, yeah, either way. Okay. I say, I say go out there, conquer the world of acting, and then come back with all that experience and then teach. Exactly. About that. Who knows? Boom. <laughs> Dionne, thank you so, so much. We look forward to pleasure. watching your SABC 27 on 6 p.m. Make sure that you do tune in. But there's still lots more that you can see on this morning's edition of your Feel Good Breakfast Show.